Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Joe Chaffee on this uh, Wednesday morning as we uh, take a look at Tropical Storm Cindy, which is spinning away here in the north central Gulf of Mexico and getting ready to probably make landfall somewhere right near the Louisiana Texas border on the coast. It doesn't really have a, a typical, let's call it a tropical storm look to it. And uh, that's because there's a few things going on uh, in the upper atmosphere. And, and I want to, we're going to take a look at this with respect to the uh, water vapor imagery here. And it's, it's, uh, looks, looks more like a subtropical storm than a tropical storm. And when we uh, look right in here, you see right there, there's an upper low in the in the atmosphere here and that's creating uh, a bit of a, a wind shear environment and the other thing is so there's these dark brown patches this is dry air aloft and this is being tra entrained around the upper low and it, it, i'm sorry it's it's circulating around the upper low and being entrained into the circulation of tropical storm cindy and you can see that these, these this brownish white patch that's all dry air if this were in a, a truly tropical ideal environment in terms of strengthening uh, you wouldn't see this uh, you'd see this system completely embedded inside all this uh, deep layer moisture now that moisture is being pushed inland of the louisiana coast now and and that's producing some heavy rains and it did produce some heavy rains along the coast last night um, there's going to be some more generated today as we watch to see what this uh, center of circulation does as it meanders towards the coast. It also did strengthen uh, last night um, at uh, top winds were 60 miles an hour. The Hurricane Center had numerous uh, ship reports out here um, and uh, also the Air Force Reconnaissance aircraft. But since then, its look on the satellite uh, not nearly uh, as uh, robust as it looked yesterday evening. Now there's look there appears on the last few frames here this morning some convection beginning to develop on the northwest side of the circulation center. You can see that circulation center is, is rather broad, but there is some convection trying to fire up there. So um, maybe this is going to be one of these diurnal things where it fires up during the day and, and weakens a bit during at night until the center moves on land. And that's the other consideration here is the fact that the center now is getting close to the coastline so it, it only has a very limited amount of time uh, to strengthen and it may also wind up actually either just kind of staying where it is in terms of total strength or perhaps it might even weaken a little bit uh, as it moves on uh, to land and here's a, the radar look view this morning and you can see there's there's a big band of heavy rain well to the north and east the circulation centers right in here so the radar's picking up some radar echoes developing in and around that center this morning. Uh, we'll see what the Air Force plane finds when it gets there. But again, it's got much more, uh, it doesn't have a truly tropical look as uh, the main convection area is getting shoved up away to the northeast. And you're getting this other area now that's trying to form near where the circulation center is. And uh, this is the uh, radar uh, presentation, so storm total uh, so far, based on radar estimates. And I'm, I'm looking here uh, from the Florida Panhandle uh, over toward Mobile, Alabama. Here's Biloxi. And, you know, the yellows and the darker yellows represent uh, three and four inch rainfalls, which are kind of, t we're kind of touching the coastline uh, with lesser amounts as you go inland. But, you know, there was every bit of a couple of inches of rain uh, throughout much of uh, the Florida Panhandle, Southern uh, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, at least so far. And when we, uh, I'll switch it over and we can take a look at uh, what fell in southeastern Louisiana because that this area got um, the most rain, I think, so far. You can see this big yellow patch represents three to four inches of rain uh, from uh, between Biloxi and New Orleans and also some patches of three to four inch rains. Uh, in southeastern Louisiana within this larger area that got at least an inch of, of rain. So uh, we're going to put down more on top of this because the radars in those areas are uh, somewhat busy um, today and they'll probably uh, get a little busier uh, with uh, all that tropical moisture and the unstable atmosphere. You're more likely to see, um, you know, pockets of heavy downpours and thunderstorms. And there might even be some isolated tornadoes with this 
once the low center moves inland. Now here's the Hurricane Center's forecast. You know, there's a tropical storm coming in, um, forecast to be on the coast a little after 1 a.m. on Thursday. So it has between now and then over the coastal waters to either main maintain its strength or strengthen a little, or it might even weaken a little. We'll see where, where it goes today. And then it's going to move inland as a, and then become a remnant low as it turns northeastward uh, into uh, the Tennessee Valley and then eventually heads out somewhere uh, in the mid-Atlantic states as some kind of remnant low. Here are the uh, Hurricane Center. Uh, this is the uh, the hurricane models, what we call the spaghetti plots. And, you know, here's one odd one. You, you see how this one particular one kind of brings it in, loops it, and brings it actually back out into the Gulf of Mexico, but uh, we, we don't expect that to happen. All the, the, the models are pretty well clustered, very tight in terms of where landfall is going to be. And then the vast majority of the models turn it northeastward and then east northeastward off the Delaware, uh, off the Virginia uh, coast, off the Delmarva Peninsula, and running it uh, east <clears throat> northeastward from there. Um, for the area that I forecast for, which is uh, New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, Hudson Valley, New York City, Long Island, and Connecticut, um, you know, I'm thinking just based on what I saw on the models that. Um, this is not going to be too big a deal. Some of the moisture is going to get entrained with a cold front that will be approaching, but um, this is not going to be a big rain producer, at least for um, my particular area. The uh, intensity models this morning, uh, at uh, starting out at 50 knots, uh, they kind of stay level with it. Uh, one uh, couple of models actually strengthen it a bit, but most of them keep it level for the next 24 hours, and you can see the big drop off. It's this is reflecting the center moving inland and then um, weakening after that. Again, making total sense. And we're going to take a look at the uh, HRRR model today. This is the short, shortest of the short range models. And the radar presentation kind of matches up with what you saw on the satellite here. And there's the low center. You know, it sort of just kind of meanders there in the, in the Gulf and then gradually it only goes out. This model only goes out 18 hours. Um, gradually makes its way uh, to the Texas coast. But you can see the convection that was pushed away to the northeast com almost completely separates from the actual circulation of the low where you get a, a, a core of uh, thunderstorms that forms near the center, but it becomes a very, very small compact system here um, thanks to the dynamics that we're, we're dealing with aloft. And when we uh, look a little bit further ahead, on the GFS model, uh, which matches up, you know, same idea here. You see that convection sort of separates. Uh, part of it goes northeastward, and then you get whatever forms around the circulation center. That moves inland, and there's your remnant low. Here's your cold front that's approaching here. We're now, by the way, into Friday morning. Uh, here's your cold front. Uh, that swings eastward. Looks like though some remnant moisture comes in for early Saturday, um, but then out. For my area and then the front goes by and then a better weekend day for sunday in the meantime across much of the gulf states there's going to be residual tropical moisture right through the weekend uh, producing occasional showers and thunderstorms and that even continues into the first part of next week so uh we'll uh, see what the hurricane center does with this as we uh, go through the day uh, and in the meantime i'll put up another video later today concerning uh, the overall uh, long-range and short-range weather pattern for uh, the United States, and in particular for the Northeast and Northern Mid-Atlantic states. Uh, you can check out uh, some of my website posts on uh, Cindy and uh, other things on meteorologistjoechaffee.com, and you can go to my Facebook page too and like it, uh, Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, that's J-O-E-C-I-O-F-F-I. And uh, thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers, by the way, to my YouTube channel, uh, it's I'm very excited. Picked up a lot of subscribers over the last week or so, and, and that's great. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. You get notified of videos when I post them, which is usually at least once a day, and sometimes more than once when situations call for it. And when there's tropical systems running around, I think that calls for it. Have a great uh, Wednesday. We'll talk to you later.